Alright, I welcome you back to the DeBrennick Channel. Today we are talking about Lake Mead. We're going to talk about Lake Powell. As the lake continues to drop, things are getting worse and worse and worse. Lake Powell, not really any better. It is rising slightly, as it normally does this time of year. It's still a dire situation, as I will explain, coming up. And we're going to talk about California. We're going to talk about how they have made efforts to desalinate water in certain areas we're going to be talking about that coming up as well if you could do me a favor please share this on facebook twitter other social media networks that i may not be aware of and please like and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll be right back stick around And the DeBrennick Channel is back, and today we are talking about who takes the most water from Lake Mead. Who is it? Any guess? Any guess? Anybody? It is California, of course. California fought for these rights years and years and years ago. They're the last ones to be cut off from Lake Mead in the case that the water has to be stopped altogether, and that is not good. Now, California is starting to try to cope with this problem because they know it's coming down the pike, and they know that people are going to be upset, and California is actually trying to create more desalination plants. Plant. Right now, California uses 4 million acre feet, 4.9 cubic meters of water. Most of it's from Lake Mead to 19 million customers each year. There you have it. And they have currently 10 desalination plants with majority of those being in the San Francisco area from my understanding. I know they have one in San Diego as well and like to increase the volume of water to 36%, 48 million gallons of water every day by the year 2030. Will it happen? I don't know. Then you have the mayor of Los Angeles talking about going from showers to flowers as he likes to call it. So basically taking the gray water, brown water, the black water, making it re-drinkable. Disgusting as that may sound to some and not to others. So, what are we going to do about this problem? It is a big problem. They better hope it rains. That's all we can say. Good news is La Nina's calming down. El Nina may return this fall. And if it turns this fall, the weather should return as well. Will it? It's hard to say. There's been La Nina's where it's rained and there's been El Nino's where it didn't. So just because it's El Nino doesn't mean that it's going to rain in California. It's not a guarantee. We hope that it rains at Lake Mead as well. We hope it rains in Utah. We hope that it snows in the mountains and everything will return back to normal. But it would take to get one of the lakes in Utah, I saw a report yesterday, back to normal. It would take a stagger nine inches of rain just to get it back to dry levels. So it would take a lot more to get it back to above levels so i forget what lake it was but that is an alarming report and utah is also talking about for the fourth of july this year having a fireworks ban you will not be able to light fireworks because of the hazard of possibly starting the place on fire and we're already getting fires going on all in the west and it's not a good situation so let's roll over to windy.com and check it out so here we are three days out even california getting very little to no rain whatsoever and then you come zoom in just as i showed you on the last one zero inches in the next three days and we know the last three days has got zero inches so that's six days out with no rain and probably beyond that five days out you get a little bit of rain 0 0.1 nothing to talk about nothing to write home about nothing to be proud about like hey look at that let's go to the next 10 days a quarter inch and maybe a little over a quarter of an inch there nothing at all this dominating high pressure continues i looked at this yesterday and this was the same thing yesterday as well it just goes out there's just one big domination there and there's not a whole lot but first we're going to go check out the historic low record down here lake mead reservoir mead right here we're going to be checking that out right now we're going to check out the lake powell reservoir and we're going to see what the water levels are there like i said they are on the rise i do know that for 
for a fact. Where are they exactly at? You'll find out shortly, but first, over to Lake Mead. As we roll over to Lake Mead, the current water level is at 1,071.16. It's the lowest ever. It continues to drop. It dropped by 0.06, and that was June 14th. 2021 today's a monday last year at this time the water level was 1089.4 and it was dropping 2019 it was 1085.4 only four foot difference today it is 18.24 feet difference from last year at this time full pool is at 1229 and we are 157.84 feet below full pool of 1,229 feet on the dot. This was taken at June 14th, 2021 at 2 p.m. And this is Lake Mead's water level, the damn name being Hoover. As we roll over to Lake Powell water level, the current water level is 3,561.76 feet. Now this is approximately 48.58 feet difference from last year at this time, as last year at this time, the water level on June 13th was at 3,610 feet, 0 .07, and on 2019 it was at 3595.13 feet, and like I said just a second ago, the current water level is 3561.76 feet, and that is 138 feet below full pool of 3700 feet now they say that the water level is rising slightly as it usually does but look at the difference so it started rising in april of 2019 and then it never got as high as it did in 19 and 2020 and as a matter of fact the snowpack was less and it started rising right around may 7th it peaked out right around june 26 27 28 somewhere in there and in 2019 it peaked out right around July, August, somewhere in there, and started fading off. So this is concerning. So 2019, it had this big spike. 2020 didn't have hardly any spike, and look how flat it is. It is rising kind of, a little bit. But we're going to go check out the snowpack, and you're going to be amazed that there's not much snow left, and that's not good news. So we'll go back to windy.com right now and check that out. All right, so we're going to roll in and check out the snow depth. So over here, the snow depth still 14 inches. Up here by Aspen's 13. Dwindling fast, 8.5. Over here, 7.4. You got a little bit left up here. 7.5 a little bit up here 6.7 and all this will be rolling to the west three inches there still got quite a bit up here in the mountains 13.5 but there's just not a whole lot of snow left this was a lot better i'd be a little bit happier but with the weather forecast being the way the weather forecast is as i just showed you there is very little rain temperatures are hot that makes it way worse so like at page it's 100 degrees at vegas it's 107 and then over here all through here is 107 97 86 86 91 so this ground is completely dry and there's just very 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 little rain to speak of and this is not good news whatsoever look at the rest of the country how much there is there's like 1.7 there and you got down here just a ton of rain we need this to be over here and it's just not here and there's nothing up here as well we did have some rain as i showed you earlier up there that's all i have for tonight thanks for tuning in you guys have a blessed day and we'll see you on the next one god bless and peace